she definitely has multi layers to her. She is strong, independent, fighter, warrior, empress, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> I became part of the community, and I, I guess we could bring it back to I wanted to become more active because when I reached a certain age, I saw that a lot of my friends were not making it. And I wanted to be more. I wanted to leave a footprint. And I felt like I was just existing and not living. And I felt like I needed to do service. And doing service meant I had to definitely get involved. And getting involved meant what do I do? So once my son was diagnosed at three years old with autism, and I started to look around for services, and I saw that there were no services available. And the larger companies <laughs> who claimed that they could help were really not helping at all. And I wanted to do more. And I started looking at the schools, and I noticed that the curriculum was a little bit different for children that had special needs. So that started me on the school board because I wanted to become more involved with the schools. And once I got involved with the schools and I saw that there was still an area that needed to um, be hit, for lack of a better word, I started a nonprofit. When I started a nonprofit, it led to me doing an autism walk. When I started the autism walk, I found that I was part of a larger community of people who felt the same way, that there was nothing for their kids. So we started a support group. So once I started the support group, I saw that now you had to find a building. And it was difficult finding buildings when there was only schools and you had to deal with meetings and sports, which sports just, you know, took the lead, which rightfully so. Um, I needed to find a brick and mortar. So the brick and mortar led me to open up a center just where I can offer trainings and I can offer support to parents and they have their own space. So their own safe space, so to speak. Thank you.